Um, it's been fun, man. Tristan's a fun kid to be around. Um, big smile, great energy every day, excited to learn. Um, it was a little bit of a learning curve there coming from JUCO, transitioning to uh, how we do things here. But it's been fun. I've been excited about it, and he's still developing. So it's exciting. I know you'd love to keep everybody healthy forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How valuable is it to you now that you know you haven't played without Oh, man. It's, it's – um, you know, sitting this time a year ago, some people, I, us in the building, we had confidence and faith in it, but outside of the building, probably you wouldn't think that, you know, Chad Bale and Toronto Hopper wouldn't be playing or starting the full season. So, but, you know, credit to those guys and being ready. And it's, you know, next play mentality and the next man up mentality. So, you know, credit to those guys for their development and uh, being ready to go. Having a guy like Chuck come back, you know, how critical yeah. is his leadership this year? Ah, man, Chuck's the elder statesman, man. Um, it's It's been good, um, especially for the young guys in the room um, transitioning. You know, we got a good mixture of old guys and young guys. And just being that bridge, you know, for between me, the player, player to coach, player to player. So it's been fun. It's been fun. It's, it's, it's a blessing to have him in the room. He's a real big help for what we do here. Hey, coach, just what did the conversations with Chuck look like about his decision to return to this year? Um, you know, it's some meat left on the bone. You know, um, he wasn't finished yet. He still got a lot of great ball ahead of him. And, um, you know, he wanted to keep playing and keep training and, and keep chasing it. Cord's a stud, man. Um, high football intelligence, really good guy, really good motor. He's a man's man, a great leader for the room, um, just like Chuck. So it's been it's been good so far. Excited to keep seeing it. Who are some of the next men up there? Yeah. Um, like you said, Corey Flagg, like you mentioned. Um, we got Brayshawn Littlejohn. Uh, we got Brian Huff, who's an early enrollee. Um, Nick Rodriguez, who's still um, in St. Thomas down, down South Florida. Um, he's coming in the summer. So um, those are the guys we got, man, and we're going to kind of roll with it. Yeah, yeah, he's explosive. Um, start with Brayshawn, very explosive athlete, um, high football IQ as well. He's a tough kid from Gaffney, South Carolina, the championship program. Um, he's a good football player. Brian Huff, young kid coming out. You know, he's supposed to be in high school senior English right now, but it's been good to get him here. Uh, the transition's been well. Um, he's just yeah, he's in that process right now where, like everybody's in that process of just, you know, learning the system, learning how we do things, and just keeping the next play mentality. DJ, is there much difference or any difference yeah. in what Coach Platoon is asking your guys to do from what, what they've done? No, no, no. Um, get guys lined up, fly around, hit, and um, play at a high level. Um, regardless of whatever scheme you're in, those are things that linebackers are required to do, um, especially here in the SEC. For you, how's it been working with Coach Platoon, you know, kind of living on the It's been great, man. Uh, Coach Platoon's my guy. He's a good dude, real mellow tone. Uh, great guy to get along with. Um, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of great chemistry in the room with him and Coach Early. A couple of the young GAs that we brought on. So it's, it's been fun. Yeah. What was the emphasis for the whole, the whole spring camp that you guys wanted to tackle? Yep. Well, improve on tackling. Um, we wanted to run and hit and just get lined up and, and play with some confidence, right? Play with some confidence and just, you know, just learn the scheme and, you know, a couple of new terminology things. But, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to running and tackling and getting people lined up and playing at a high level. That's what we were focusing on. Um, you know, it's still technique and fundamentals from foot placement, eyes, you know, pad level. Those are the things that you can work even though you're not live tackling and going to the ground. You can still work on that foot placement, my shoulder, my eyes, my feet, my tracking angles, all those type of things.